It's a bold statement, but I'm willing to put my money on it that this Flying V has sold more records than any other Flying V in the world. What's up everyone? This is Jordan at the Music Zoo, and today I'm really proud to introduce the Gibson Custom Shop Kirk Hammett 1979 Flying V Limited Edition and aged by the Murphy Lab. <laughs> talk about the history of this guitar but first as I'm going I would love for you to hit that subscribe button maybe leave a comment with your favorite Metallica memory or riff so the guitar originally Kirk bought this guitar uh, in 1979 saved up money washing dishes bought it for $450 it was actually a 74 or 75 so by then it was like a nice used piece that he picked up he was still playing an Exodus so Metallica hadn't really like popped off yet he was probably prepping for it um, it was his first Gibson, which is a nice fact. It's kind of like a nice uh, full circle moment now that Gibson is recreating this guitar. It is limited to 200 pieces, aged by the Murphy Labs, um, and I think they nailed it. There's a lot of really nice small touches on this guitar that we're going to go through that make it what it is. All right, let's get into the specs and construction of the Kirk Hammett V. Uh, it's a traditional flying V, mahogany body. Set construction mahogany neck, 22 fret rosewood board. The pickups in here are pre-EMGs, so they did Gibson T-type humbuckers. I love the uncovered look, volume, volume, tone. A special touch right here is this custom replica bridge. This is a cool piece. I was talking to Tommy about this the other day, actually, and he was like, oh yeah, I recognize that bridge. A lot of players in the 70s bought these from companies like Mighty Might. It's kind of like a heavier duty tunematic style. You can see that the saddles are huge. It's got these really heavy duty Allen keys for the uh, adjustments. All right, now let's check out the back of the body where the Murphy Lab really went to town recreating how much this guitar was gigged. I guess the original had Kirk's, like, gaff tape over there from, like, probably playing it. He probably started to get some rough edges from, like, a belt or God knows what. Uh, strap locks in there, always a must. The back of the headstock has shallower tuners on it, and I really like this touch they always do, the indentations from the original tuners. Right here you've got that 70s accurate volute. Let's flip it back and talk about the neck profile. They're calling this one the Kirk Hammett V neck profile. Uh, to me, I think it's more of a C to D, if I'm being honest. It's got a really nice, the shoulders are like brought in a bunch, but there's still a bunch of beef like on the middle of the neck. So when you're, you're doing those thrash shifts and you're really digging in, it's nice and comfortable. I've been playing this all morning and I love it. All right, a guitar this cool has to come with a cool case, right? I think they even nailed the replication of the original case as the guitar is currently stored at Metallica Museum and Headquarters. What I would give to be there, Kirk, hook it up. <laughs> uh, the outside of the case has gaff tape all around it with identifiers, handwritten. There's a cool hang tag with a photo of the original guitar on it. Inside the case, you have a hand-signed certificate of authenticity from Kirk. There's a custom enamel pin set. Uh, a custom silk screened uh, Gibson flag. Some other cool stuff too. It's a nice complete package. All right, there it is. The Gibson Custom Shop in 1979, Kirk Hammett Flying V. We're all huge Metallica fans here, so it's always a joy to get things like this in. There were 200 of them. Uh, the Music Zoo has a few in stock. I cannot say how long they're gonna last. Metallica fans are crazy, as we all know. Be sure to follow us on all our social media channels at The Music Zoo. Like our video, subscribe to this channel. Visit us at themusicazoo.com or just give us a call. We're here for you. See you soon.